Many people think when we talk about wealth, we are talking about money, as in Abu, as in Kudi. That's what some people think. One of the scholars said, and listen very carefully to this. One of the scholars said, Darajatul Riziki Arubaatun. Darajatul Riziki Arubaatun. There are four levels of wealth. If you were to divide wealth, there are four levels to it. A'ala Darajatul Riziki Atakwa. The highest level of wealth is the fear of Allah. Now you may want to ask me this question. How is the fear of Allah in wealth? That it doesn't translate into any material thing. That is because you have a narrow mindset. Listen to this verse of the Quran. Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalakunakum min zakarin wa unsa. Are you following? Wa ja'alakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila lita'arafu. Who can complete the verse for me? Inna akramakum inda Allah at skokum. Almighty Allah says, O mankind, I, Allah, have created you from a male and female, Adam and Hawa. I have made you into nations and tribes, so that you can identify each other. Oh, he's from Ilori. Oh, he's Yoruba. Oh, she's Ibira. That is the only reason why we have been created into nations and tribes. He's Nigerian, she is Scandinavian, he's American, he's British. Just for us to identify ourselves. Allah now made something very uh, uh, significant. He said, Inna akramakum inda atkakum. The most honorable among you in the sight of Allah is the most pious. Allah didn't say agunakum, the most rich. He didn't say aksarukum mala, the richest. He didn't say Ajimalakum, the finest, the most beautiful. Because all these things do not matter to Allah. It's not about your wealth, your, your money, it's not about your beauty, it's not about your brain, it's about what lies in your heart, your piety. So if what matters most to Allah is your piety, what then is the most important wealth that anybody can possess? Piety. Are we following? The scholar continued, you know, he said four, right? He continued. He said the second level, the second level of wealth is al-afia, sound health. Now, let us reason together. What is the value of your money? If you are ill, you are sick, you are bedridden. What is the value of money? Do you know that there are people that have money, yet they cannot buy sound health? I want to give this example not because I'm happy about what happened, but because I want us to learn here. How many of you know Ike Ekoremadu? Do you know him? Ike Ekoremadu. He was a one time deputy um, uh, Senate president of the Nigerian Senate. He has a daughter, Sonia, who has heart problems. She has been admitted in a hospital uh, outside. And they were looking for a donor, right? To donate, I think kidney, right? Kidney problem. Yeah, kidney problem. To donate kidney. Unfortunately, they ran into some problems. You all read the news. And Ekore Madu today is in the prison. I was in trial. The trial comes, I think, sometimes in May. Now, is Ekore Madu a poor man? He has money, right? Has his money been able to buy sound health for his daughter? That's why this, this scholar said, apart from taqwa, the second most important wealth anybody can possess is alafia, sound health. May we never know the value of sound health. On Sunday, I went to play ball as usual. And unfortunately for me, I stepped on the ball and twisted my ankle. So I have one I have leg now. In case you see me tirobeing around, that's the... Now, I'm saying this because for the first time in my life, I had to pray sitting down. I had never prayed sitting in my life. I have only read this in Fiku book that you can pray sitting down if you can't pray standing, right? But now I have to pray sitting because I can't bear fold my leg for sudud. 
That is where you begin to understand the value of sun earth. The scholar continued. He said the fourth level of wealth is to have children. The fourth level is to have children. May Allah make every one of us fertile. And may He grant us the best of children. Wallahi, if you have ever been married for five to ten years without a child, no amount of money in this world will make sense to you. We have seen people spend millions to do IVF, in vitro fertilization, because they want to have child. We have seen people who spend millions to do surrogacy, room for rent, to get a woman that can help them carry the pregnancy to term, and then they pay her off. Why are people disturbing themselves over having children if it is not important? No money. There are people that will give their money just to have children, just to say, I have for once had a child. I was giving a lecture one day. A woman came to me and said, Ustaz, please take this money. I can't remember the amount of money. It was a uh, limited money. He said, pray for me that Allah should flash me at least with pregnancy. She has never been pregnant in her entire life. That even if it is flashing, it should just flash me so that it will be on record that I was ever pregnant. Money can't get you this. And then the scholar said, the least... The least important of wealth, who knows what is it? Is able. <laughs> so, now, what is the least important of wealth is what most people would kill to have at the expense of the most important of wealth. So, many people would kill, as they literally kill, take the life of another person just to have wealth, money. Takwa is the highest level of wealth. They throw that away. They will seek the least level of wealth at the expense of their taqwa. And why are we talking about this to us? We live in a world today, my brothers and sisters, that people that are yet to sit down with their bum bum want to stretch their legs. The Yoruba will say, Now, I'm standing like this. If I were to stretch my leg, what will happen to me? You all agree? But now I'm sitting comfortably. Can't I stretch my leg again? I can. So many young people that are yet to sit down want to stretch their legs. 